Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh, and we're back on a new episode. It's episode 55. We're going to just rack these numbers up, and let's see how far we go with these live streams. I'm really enjoying these um, doing live streams with you guys, and anyone that's watching either live or even just post-recording, uh, um, I hope this is beneficial to all of you who are watching and learning something new um, uh, as opposed to um, things like what not to do as well. <laughs> so um, but with that being said, um, there is a new track uh, or I should say a new sample library that I got and it's from Orchestral Tools. It's called Metropolis Zero um or i think it's from the metropolis arc is the full title name so metropolis arc zero and this is a trailer style library um if you're familiar with any of their other metropolises uh, they definitely have a cinematic quality and something that you could hear that's just larger than life i own metropolis arc one currently and I, I've been yet to invest in the other ones just yet, uh, just because I feel like that's really all I need at the moment. But others uh, could argue and say, what are you doing, Josh? You got to get the other ones, too. And there's a, a Christmas sale going on, and I, I've been really just been, you know, itching to get it, get the whole bundle. But I decided just to go with the single uh, on sale library that's right now with uh, Metropolis RC0. So I, I was uh, pretty um, entranced by the demos and wanted to kind of go over this, give you guys the rundown on how that would sound, and then see um, my two cents on this whole thing. We'll make some music as well. So let's get started, shall we? So, the first thing is, let me just stop the music here. First thing is to just show you what's under the hood. There are, mm, if you look on this browser, there are three different folders. One is the 2T, which is the uh, orchestra combined total. And then you have these high orchestra and low orchestra patches. So um, kind of a heads up if you guys aren't familiar with the Metropolis Arc Zero, it is a ensemble library. So what is an ensemble library? It's basically a uh, library of sounds that are recorded. Let me uh, make sure I'm on the right one. So I'm on sus. And as, as you can hear me playing all the different notes, you can hear that it's not just one instrument, it's the entire orchestra playing the same notes. So, you know, if on the low end, this is strings, and um, it's also combining with um, probably some tuba. Let me go lower. So definitely tuba, um, contrabass, maybe bassoon or contrabassoon. I haven't read the manual to really see, like, the nitty-gritty details of what they've you know, um, recorded and, and programmed in throughout, but I'm sure there is something in the manual that talks about that. So um, I, we'll, we'll just kind of keep our ears open and see if anything changes. Uh, so the first test, I guess, would be to just play from the low octave. I'm just going to go um, chromatically up, and let's see if you hear different instruments start to poke in, like a trumpet or, um, you know, a flute down the road. So here we go. Great. And this is actually perfect for my 61 key MIDI controller here because it goes from my low C to the high C without really changing any octave keys. Um, and if you have an 88 key, even better. You don't have to worry about anything. You can even do key switches on the bottom. Uh, so anyways, let's talk about the different uh, articulations. You have sustains, marcato long, short, uh, upbeat, staccato, and etc. So what I'll do is I'm just going to go over here, drag this over and try different sounds. Um, let me let me actually go back to the sustain and kind of just demo out some sounds here. Let's try like kind of medium in the faders. 
let's uh, figure out a chord progression. beautiful lush it's really warm it's it's a dark warm sound and that's what i love about it i don't actually own any um particularly um library that sounds quite like this i i do have something close that is um just a free library which you guys i think can still snag it's from from uh vienna ensemble or v vsl so uh that company and they have this is this is a, a great ensemble style library, but no, nothing quite like this, where you know going from zero to one twenty seven on my fader. I mean, and then combine that with the other fader. Um, it, it just it has a nice sound to it that you can't. I mean, it, it it's just a little. It's a different quality, and that's why I got it. Um, to just to kind of play around with that for my sketching or even use it as a final product or final track um, um, uh, element for, for that. So we have now the Marcotta Longs. Let's give it a try here. Bring up the volume. I'm just going to hold that on for a bit, listen for that tail. So as you can see, uh, it does decay after a short amount of time. Um, here's the Marcotta shorts. And let's just look at the range as well. As you can see here, it's the same range. It's matching up um, note for note C on the C1, and then goes all the way up to C, let's see, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. Cool. All right, so let's just keep going here. going to give you the rundown. So we have upbeats. Oh, yeah. Now, this is also a great little uh, articulation that's included with the 2T. So you can do, like, yeah, combine that with staccatos and marcados. Um, this is staccato now. So I'm, I'm going to kind of like mess around going uh, back and forth between the two. Oh, wrong, wrong uh, arrow. <laughs> Let's try again. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> I just keep going on the wrong track. And then um, let's just mess around. Right? So using those combinations, you can really get a lot of different cool sounds out of that. Um, let's try some staccato stuff. I'm bringing the volume just down. Um, Keyboard out. Um. Also, what I like about this a little more than the Big Bang Orchestra Ensemble is that uh, it's very velocity sensitive. I've noticed that you can really crank out some notes if you uh, want to and bring out the accents, but you can also play nice and soft and uh, legato kind of, oh, well, not legato, but 
um, just a softer run type of feel. Um. Yeah, yeah, you, you could do, you could actually like pull off runs with this, and it sounds pretty good. Um. Sorry, forgive me. There you go. Yeah, just a uh, little little runs like that that you can program in and and just mess with the accents, um, with the velocities, and really get a nice sound. Okay, so then we have here our high orchestra. So included here are a, a bunch of other articulations, but what you notice is uh, there are no. Um, single type notes like if i want to do legato high orchestra you won't find that in the in this section so that that's all just in the 2t as you can see here you have actually like single notes these are mostly chord notes so like if you want to just uh, get some nice chords going let me show you how that would sound um, uh, these are the swell versions of that but it's the same idea Sorry, just one note. Okay, and as you can see here, the range is more limited because it's only doing, let's see, um, one, two, three octaves. And I think what happens is like the first uh, octave of this C range, which is here, is doing the root chord positions. And then if I were to try this one, this inverts. Yeah. Okay, so it gives you a lot of options because you can invert these chords and and try to uh, write something that's um, a good like a accompaniment style while something is soloing over it, and and just using these different combinations can get you pretty far, um, and that will save you a lot of time in the long run if you're just using that as opposed to uh, trying to voice it you know, by every track, every single track through the instruments that you have in your template, like what, what I have going on, right? So like if you're just trying to do a quick sketch, um, or even just something that's accompanying um, a nice little solo moment, uh, this would be really useful. Um, let's actually, I, I don't, I, a lot of this is still new to me. So what I'd like to do is, um, trying to get this so you can see this better um, but I might as well just get rid of that what I like to do is um, press record and see how long these swells are and then I'm gonna change the tempo and we're just gonna explore this library together uh, um, because for me it's good to know these things but uh, hopefully that's something that you guys are curious about as well so here we go So um, from low to high of the crescendo, it looks like it's it's two bars. And then if I were just to hold, um, maybe I'll continue where we are from there. And let's just uh, do like a, a G. And we'll, we'll keep it for four bars. And let's see if it swells downwards um, on, this, on the second half of that. So let's just start around that G. Great, and it, it and it just that natural lift off or the the decay um, where they release the note sounds great. Uh, it's it's perfect where it's at. Now I I would like to um, change the tempo real quick. Let's change this to like uh, drastically seventy. Okay, let let's listen now to see if th this is time stretched. Oh, 
Okay. So it sounds like this is not synced to um, a metronome. And uh, a lot of times they would say something like Time Machine Pro um, in the uh, types of different patches that are offered. So that so my guess is these are recorded to a certain um, tempo, but then when you play it, uh, at least for these swells, you just have to know that it'll only work for certain tempos. But uh, despite that, I think that's still pretty useful. Um, you know, a lot of music is around, let's say, like 1, 112, 120. I think I, I'm guessing it's, it was probably recorded around 120. Um, in that case, then, you know, the, you can still write a lot of great melodies in that uh, tempo and still have that work out. Um, yeah, so that is that. And then you have um, the different qualities, chord qualities. So you have major, minor. Let's just copy this over. And what I'll do, since they're different colors, I'm just going to go into both of these like so. So I have major and minor. This time I'm going to uh, delete this one. And let's just make a, a little chord progression here. Um, something sounded like it was uh, trilling, though. So let me just make sure. Yep, I gotta change that. So let's do high orchestra, long minor. That's what I meant to do. And then on this uh, blue, is this minor? Yeah, okay, so let's change this to, well, you know, C, F, F minor, C to F minor is kind of cool actually. So let's go ahead and change that and then the last chord, let's do uh, F minor to um, A minor. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, and uh, mind you, these this is all without any programming. I, I kind of had this going to start it, but everything else is um, just kind of the way it's programmed in and recorded. Here we go. And and this is just a high orchestra. Imagine adding another layer of that to the bottom or just playing the low orchestra version of that here. And just let's see how that sounds now. Yeah, so as you can see there, um, it has that dark quality. And it, if we were to, let's say, combine that together, how would that sound? I'm, I'm actually curious. Um, might as well do all of them. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do for this C, I'm actually going to take it down an octave. And let's bring this one down an octave as well. Let's see how that sounds. Yeah, these are nice sounds. Um, you, you would have to get the transitions just right, like in terms of something like this where you're just holding out the note. Uh, it would have to be the, the absolute correct um, tempo to maybe get that switching, um, switching of notes better. So, for instance, I'm guessing if I were to go a little slower, like 110, let's he hear how that would sound. better all right so what if we just continue this instead of going a whole note now let's just do this a 
Let's see here. Are we missing anything? I don't think so. Okay, so then let's go back to this F chord. So then we have this uh, four chord movement that probably can just be repeated like a ostinato. Um, let's do this. Let's just repeat that. Okay, yeah, so we're, we're going to mess around with this, and maybe I'll, I'll record some ideas here just to kind of see what you can do with that. Um, so I would say this first part is good as is, and then you can just kind of repeat that uh, as such, but I think I have an idea now. So let's do that, and I'm going to go back to my staccatos, and let's see if we can come up with some magic here. Sorry, you know what? I I just realized my cycle marker was set to repeat and loop. I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and try here. Okay, so I need to go that speed, just half time it. Great, so that's the idea here. Um, let's go ahead and quantize these guys a bit. Okay. Maybe on that last uh, note, we can go higher, like. Let's try that. Okay, great. So now we have uh, uh, some kind of ostinato pattern we can repeat. And let's just do like a layering approach. So, you know, you you have this first thing introduced, you have the second thing in, in, in there. The next section we can maybe add, um, you know, this would actually really work well with some synth pads or some synth leads as well. Um, I'm not opposed to uh, um, that at all, but I, I want to kind of just stick with this for a bit to see what we can do and how this will morph a bit down the road. So let's try some 2D. Um, this one, we got to be careful because we already have a lot of the notes going, um, so to speak. So maybe somewhere in that mid, high mid range. Okay, 
see if, um, let's try again. Okay, let's see. If I, I think I might be ch changing a note here. Oh, okay. Okay, so kind of we're we're going up to that D and C like we do down here in the staccatos. So like if you're to compare, yeah, but it's it's almost in the opposite. But it it could work. It could work. Um, we could also just change that f second half of the melody. That's kind of interesting. Okay, let, let's change the second half to this. Let's just listen to these two together. I'm, I'm gonna have to change that. Okay, let's go down to the G. Okay, so we're changing that uh, staccato pattern a little bit on, on that part. I mean, that's great. I mean, th this is just with how many tracks? Um, if you were to ca combine these as one track and you just use the uh, key switches, that would work. This is another track. So we have one, two, three, four tracks, so to speak. Um, yet it, it just sounds so full and you can do so much with so little. And, um, you know, on top of that, you can combine other um, libraries that would complement this and maybe um, uh, make it more bright sounding. So, like, so for instance, I have the I have two of these. Th this one's a little bit warmer. Um, this this one is much brighter. And if I were to let's say add some kind of melody or like I can. Um, layer that melody I just did up here and put that there let's see and then on this one th there's actually key switches that I've programmed so if we were to put that on Sol Tasto for instance right um, maybe Sol Tasto is not the best it's just some vibrato Okay, it's really loud. So let's just bring some of that down. Right? Like all of this is great, and and I, I could probably shape that even more to make it more dynamic sounding. Um, but in in terms of of that sound, it it's really hard to achieve that these uh, crescendos. 
it's really hard to achieve that uh, type of sound where it just keeps building and and and, and swelling um, with programmed MIDI uh, and virtual instruments that are just sustain patches. So like I don't know if I could do the same thing per se. Um, Sorry, one second. It's just not the same. There's something about when you can uh, have some. T I mean, if you can take advantage of the swells uh, given the certain cer uh, circumstances that you're in, like the right tempo, so to speak, it, it works really well. So um, I mean, I I generally don't even use swells to be honest, but I um, I just know that there's something special about them that if you have the moment or opportunity to use it go ahead and use it as uh, and this applies to really any library that's out there okay so with that being said let's look at some of these other ones we have swells okay now swells uh i i did, I did a swells long so let me clarify this is swells short and um this will probably be half as long Okay. All right. So I'm just going to make something different here. Um, not, not to continue where we left off, but maybe try a different chord progression. So let's try, uh, oh yes. oops, just one note. Um, and the, this is a combination of these two. So I'll have to maybe decide what to play for, uh, this half. Let's do an A. Okay. And then on the second half, how should I do this? I'm just going to draw this in. It's a little easier to put this in like so. So this will be the first one and major and this lighter purple will be minor. So then let's do this with a D. And it looks like I need to go slightly faster for this to really uh, match and connect. So if I were to go 120 again, let's try that. Okay, so 120 sounds perfect for something like this. Let's keep continuing with our chord progression. So we have that A, D. Let's try... Um, maybe go to the F and then um, D minor E F let's go actually G major like that That I went to G, sorry. Right, um, And then let, let's change that second half. So not do the boring four, uh, four note or four chord progression thing. Let's let's change that to something 
Um, boom. Let's go to the six. So that would be F minor. A major, F sharp. Yeah, because we're in A major, right? D minor. Okay, so let's do the F sharp minor, and let's do something like F sharp to I might have to um, write this in or So F sharp to, let's say, E major. Uh, D major, and then could probably go back to E. So let's do uh, F sharp, E, maybe something like that. So, I mean, it's the same chord, but voiced differently at the end. Let's hear how that sounds all together. That's kind of nice. So th this tells a little bit more of a story in a sense. Uh, how we have different chords going. Um, of course, a lot of times chords are more of a supportive role to what what is happening over um, everything else that's happening. So like if it's a melody, or maybe you're just film scoring something and you're trying to highlight a certain moment. So these chords are always going to be functional. It's always something that you have to um, consider what's the function or purpose of why you're, you're choosing these chords. I'm just choosing them just out of sheer excitement and uh, joy and, and just trying to figure out, oh, that sounds cool. But, you know, when you're composing something, generally you're, you're aiming for something else, right? So, but uh, just keep that in mind. Um, we're going to now try um, a different approach. So, I have that going here. I'm 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 gonna also just cover the trills that they have in the high orchestras. So you have trill majors, major trills, and then you have minor trills. Okay, so I don't know if I could put a trill in here, but I'm I'm just gonna mess around for a bit over these chord progressions. And and just a, a side note, I have two. I have two octaves worth, so you can go on lower octave, higher octave. I think there's a trill also in the low orchestras. Um, maybe I'm just gonna make one right now. Let's see here. So where did that go? Right here. 
let's change this to trills and let's hear the difference just in quality of course it's a lower octave to begin with um but do they have oh they don't have trills okay so that's that's an uh, important distinction just to know there's no trills down in the lower orchestras uh, uh in um like compensation for that so if you were to compare the two you see the trills are right here in the high orchestras you can see in the octaves um or excuse me you can see that what's replacing them so to speak is the octave runs so you have the major run and the minor run so i mean how would i do this let's go replace that oops oh yeah so like the lower half goes up and the uh, upper half of this keyboard goes down. Cool. Anyways, um, these are things just to kind of keep in mind. Also, you'll notice there's a swells long and swells short. I would imagine this is a combined version of something before um, where we had the majors and minors. So let's just go ahead and replace that and play around with that as well. Okay, so this is actually a playable one in the sense that um, you can do chords, like I guess you can go like uh, C major. Or let's do open C. So that's actually cool too. Um, I I kind of wish that the high orchestra had something similar. Um, they don't, and that's uh, that's something that's uh, interesting here. Um, unless it's it's hidden. I mean, I don't know if there's like a second page or a third page. No, I don't think so. So there you go. So that those are your articulations for uh, the entire. Metro metropolis arc zero library i would say you know as far as how you can use it i've just shown you a few different ways that you could use it but um for for the purposes of uh, sketching i think it's great and uh, um, i got it for what i thought was a pretty good deal when it was on sale i think it's still on sale don't quote me on that um but yeah go check it out if you're interested in the meantime, what I like to do is go ahead and um, build a, a nice little track to call it for the day. We're only about 45 minutes in, which gives us about an hour or so, maybe hour 15, um, if we need that much time. But I, I think we can create something um, in this realm and then maybe include a few different percussion um, maybe some synths I think would be a really nice touch so um, I'm feeling pretty inspired now uh, just to be honest with you I've had a long day doing some construction I'm helping a friend build his own music studio and uh, there's a lot of uh, just a lot of labor um, involved there's there's a lot of materials and gluing and sanding and whatever else that we need to do but um, we're, we're uh, just in the very early stages and I'm I'm just super sore so so bear with me as I'm uh, working on this track and if I'm like groaning now you'll know why okay so let's go ahead and um, revisit what I wrote initially here in this first track and let's just put a little cue markers here okay
All right, so um, that that's a fun little idea. I think what would be nice is if we could stretch these to um, like a um, time machine t style stretch because I'd like to go faster on this, honestly. Um, another idea is we could use the short versions of these swells and see if that would um, do any anything different. So for instance, let's go faster. Um, and, and we might have to change the melody and stuff, but I kind of like this idea here. I, I can hear this in like a trailer type of feel. We just need some, you know, some Brahms or some booms and and, and it'll just instantly transform it that way. So let, let's try um, bringing this to the short swells. And I, I automatically have adjusted this to 150. So that's already there. Let's just move that to the beginning of that track. Uh, yeah, let's put a marker there. Um, already sounds good. So then let's just copy that over. So what I'll do is do this. Let's put these up here. Call these short. And short. Okay, and let's go ahead and change that over so we have high. And we want to find the swell shorts. Although we don't want to do that, we want to just replace it. Okay, so let's pl press play. Okay, let's try the other one. This one is a uh, swell short minor. So I'm just going to drag that and replace. And you can see the minor. Okay, so then I don't need this anymore. Let's go delete that. And we don't need this anymore. Okay. Cool. I think that works better. So then let, let's go ahead and try uh, one, maybe slightly slower, so like 144. Yeah, I, I think that will be a nice little starting point, at least to jumpstart this idea and flesh it out. So let's go ahead and insert. I'll keep this thing that I just did uh, previously, and but I'll push it off to the side. And let's make this track somewhere around 80 bars long. Um, we can go longer, maybe 100, but... Um, I like to give it a tail, so in case like I end at 80, then you know you give two bars to have it tail out. Okay, so that's the idea. Um, we're cleaning up a few things. Bum 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 bum. I think the staccatos are kind of cool. It, it's slightly loud, so. All right, so then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding a few synth pads or maybe not pads, um, but like ar arpeggio type of uh, sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, instrument player and let's do some either Omnisphere or, or Zebra. Okay. By the way, Zebra uh, from Yuhi is having a sale of some sorts. 
so you should check it out. It's something to do with the um, their uh, they're going to be releasing Zebra three in the near future. So I would uh, just kind of keep an eye out on what they're doing, um, and uh, eventually they're they're like going to phase out uh, Zebra two. So I think there's a sale on it on something like that, and then. Um, they they're calling it like the legacy so check it out sometime if if you if you don't have zebra already i'm just going to call it zebra okay and i think um this works really well because this is you know the, this library is sort of the the epitome of like a, the batman scores uh so and, and Zebra HZ is actually the Hans Zimmer uh, when he did uh, when he scored the Batman for the Christopher Nolan series. Anyways, let's just find some things here that would work. Yeah, the legacy. Um, I'm a little lost to be honest. Sorry. Oh, here we go. That's where I wanted to go. And then. Uh, Let's just start here. Let's try some basses. Basses would it be would be nice actually. So we have that's kind of nice and aggressive. Check that chord. I think we're doing an A minor, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So that's kind of a nice um, bass sound. Let's just keep looking for a second. That's kind of cool too. Let's see. Doesn't have that oomph that the other one did. So this is kind of nice. Here. I think the winner would be this one. Yeah, um, and let's see. So there's some velocity things to to keep in mind. Let's name this the octave bass. Okay, next. Um, we got our, ourselves a nice little bass sound. This one over here, let's delete. And I, I've made a macro, uh, by the way, if anyone's paying attention to uh, some of the things I've mentioned, uh, complained about in the past. But one, one is when you're uh, relabeling something, or excuse me, let me say that again. When you duplicate a track and you want to like, like, quickly find new sounds and and then uh, label them instead of Cubase, I made a macro which is uh, really nice. It saves some time. So you you pr you press this macro key, and it duplicates the track, but it also renames it on that spot. So all I have to do is go over here. It also gets rid of that. Um, you know, parentheses, Ds that you might see in, inside of Cubase. Anyways, I digress. Um, I, I thought I'd share that. It's a uh, it's a nice little feature. Um, I mean, just just a quick way to 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 skip some steps. 
Okay, so um, if this is an octave, let me just make sure I'm on the right one. Okay, so this is the the new stuff. Let's just find some like percussive stuff would be fun. That's that's interesting. Okay. Um Oh, that's nice. Not sure if I'd use this. Um, I probably would use something like that, actually. Okay, so let's use this one. Let's see if I can incorporate that real quick. And I'll call it thin, actually. So thin. All right. Let's um, the the actually the the main thing I was looking for are some arpeggio sounds. So let's see here. Oh. You know what? I might be on the wrong one. Let's see, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna play around with that for a second. too warm um, and it needs a little more bite to poke through a bit oh that's nice actually uh, so so this is in three That's nice. Um, let's l look at the synth two. Yeah, that's nice too. Let's do um, both of these. So we're gonna go and call this bow bounce, bow bounce synth two, and this first one will be. Bow bounce synth one. Alright. Okay, cool. Is that all we need? Um I am going to just find one more sound. Just send any inspirations would be nice. What's cool is, uh, I th from what I understand, these patches were used in um, the movies of the Christopher Nolan Batman. Maybe not all of them were used, but they were designed for for the film. So that's kind of a neat little thing. Maybe not so much, but um, I'll, I'll just put this in just for the hell of it. Let's do that. Okay, and then uh, we have some lead horns. Man, there's just 
endless, right? Endless things that we could do. Um, let's do one more idea, which is which will be the key. So finding some instrument sounds that we can get keys off of. So if we're to go here and do, well, did I actually? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, so. Maybe some like something like that would be nice. Let's see what else they have. Try some other of these here. I didn't get um, some notes right, but. Kind of cool. Oh man, there's a lot. Oh, organ. <laughs> wow, that's cool too. Okay, I think out of all of them, um. I think the harp, which is not what I was uh, guessing, but let's try that and maybe this cat pluck. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the cat pluck and let's add that in and call it good for our sounds for our synths. And then maybe um, as time goes, I'll, I'll add some percussion in, but let's just use what we have uh, right now, which is from here to here is all the uh, um, the library that I'm um, reviewing, which is Metropolis Zero, and then we have some extra synth sounds. Okay, so with that being said, I think I have a a good idea what we can do. Um, that uh, some kind of pulse in, in the second half. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think we should add bass first. And Again, make sure we're at the click on. Okay, that's a nice bass sound. So, 
maybe this A can go down or it can probably go back to the C. No. Let's do the A lower half like that. All right. Hey guys, Longacre, love Nolan Zimmer combos. Awesome. Yeah, my one of my faves. And Bashana, hey, welcome on board. So I am going to, um, oops, I keep pressing C. I meant to do that. I'm going to go ahead and sort of layer these on just uh, to gain some inspiration. This second part right here where the 2D is, is where the melody starts, which I'm not married to the melody, but um, at least we have something there. Okay, now this is where we're gonna have some fun. I think it'd be good to just draw in some kind of arpeggio. Um, maybe go crazy. Something, something there. Man, that sounds like Radiohead. Let, let's let's see if we can um, kind of sneak that in somehow. I might have to program this or slow it down. I don't know. Let's see if I can do it. again. Okay. Let's let's uh, uh program that better. Let's see, so we got da 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 da. It's kind of a spacey sounding now, with this synth that just transforms it to this sci-fi. And did I... I didn't record any CC, huh? Okay. I don't think there's any CC 11 there. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're going to make these nice and short. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's quantize these guys. So that E is a little questionable. Maybe go to C or that F. Dun 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 dun. Alright. 
Okay, cool. All right, so then it goes to an A minor after that. So let's see what we have here. Um, I think if we just change that and just spell out the chord, it, it'd be fine. Sorry. Let's change that. I like to just make them nice and clean like that. Okay. So now we have this other element that's just kind of going through that. Um, we can maybe add a little bit of a space um, behind that. So I could just put like a little reverb on there. Let's do the Valhalla Vintage Verb. Okay, let's do like some something like that. Okay. Okay, all right. So um, that, that's that's starting to shape up a little bit. We have bass, we have plucks, um, and you know, and this or orchestra is just holding it all down together. So, um, with with the staccatos, um, it's, it's it's nice and simple. I like that. I'm wondering if I should uh, do some harmonies. So. to see if we need to change that. Nah. Let's look at this half. So the second half here, I might need to change to make it the same. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, harmonize that, maybe B flat. sure what if we do a flat Let's do that. Okay, so um, I, I like the harmony idea. What do you guys think? Let's see. Um, with that, then we have one other element. Let's see. I think uh, adding that little, like a pulse, on top of the pluck might be too much, but let's try. So the idea would be. Or something. <laughs> That's maybe too metallic. Even just like a simple eighth note pulse.
Okay. Uh, what's nice about this chord progression is it's going C major, F minor, A minor, um, F minor. They all share a C, so you can technically just get away with putting that C in there, in a sense, and it would work really well. Um, let's keep that going, and let's bring the volume just slightly down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now this is morphed into a sci-fi track, <laughs> so to speak. I didn't, you know, I, I had no preconceived notion, honestly, of where this was going to go. So it's just funny to think, oh, now we're sci-fi. Um, but, I mean, what do you expect when you're using, like, synths from Zebra and stuff? Let's go higher. So we'll do a C chord. So... We can make a high point here. So let's um, let's see what we can do to shape that a little more than what we just have here. So boom, 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 boom. Maybe on this one we need to go higher. So and make sure that we're quantized. Boom. Compare that to the first half, which is here. Yeah, it seems louder. That's good. Okay, second thing is uh, this 2D thing. Okay. Actually, I might mute all of this and just have this all come in like this maybe with the marcado see and then but warm that up and try something else so what do we have here okay so let's record maybe the top half. Okay, let's see. All right, 
let's try that. The only problem with this is is that this cuts out and decays too short. Although, um, or else it would have been really nice. Let's see. I guess we can just keep it all here. Okay. So. Boom. Boom. Uh, like that. Okay, and I'm going to re-record this in here. Um, you know, I'm going to actually do another pass on this whole thing real quick. Add the low low end now. Let me try that one more time though. Well, actually, yeah, it'd be better to re-record after we add the low end. So basically, what's happening is um, I'm muting those chord swells that um, the Met Metro Metropolis Arc Zero offers, and I'm just gonna put put this all in here. Um, at the same time, let's just put this back in. So we have at least something there to support it, but uh, let's add the the lower half of that orchestra. So we can, I guess, just figure that out together. So we have C. I'm just thinking, how many voices do, am I wanting to use here? There's like at least six. Right. Let's do that. And on this, we might need to double up the chords, and um, uh, or what I mean is do this, and just control the the bottom half with the top half, something like that. Um, that that would be a, a good move, I think. But I'm just gonna mute this for now and cop uh, copy that down once I'm all done. So we have this. Uh, yeah, so nice. Nice kick, and then dun dun dun. This would be nice, like tight chords. So. Uh, let's see here. One more time. I have C and C. Okay. Well, let's go this half first. I'm going to turn this guy off. And let's do this half. So there's seven voices being playing on this. So we have 
C and that. Okay, let's bring that over. Sorry, that's kind of loud, huh? Is it? It's also probably something to do with the uh, velocities. I'm not sure if I want to bring it up that loud. So that's better. Maybe kind of keep it around there. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. And then let's just finish this out. So we have this. Um, yeah, see. Okay, now I'm curious also, is this velocity sensitive that we can like bring the supporting notes down and then bring up the this like melodic top voice? Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> It's um, it's really thick. It's kind of cool, but um, I'm wondering if we can just take out one of these. So, for instance, take out that, take out that, and take out that. No, let's, take, let's keep this. Let's take out these. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's thin that out. So now there's six voices. Uh, let's harmonize this note. So we have D to yeah. And let's go down and do a D like a octaves. That sounds good. Okay. You know what? I'm going to keep it up and just keep this intensity up just for a second. Um, I like I like how we have this going on. So let's change that accordingly. I wonder though if I should do something like this. Hmm. This instead. Okay, and we'll, and we'll resolve that to a... That, whatever that chord was. That's a C chord. Um, so we're going to have to drop this down to something like... That, that. So we got an E, we got a C. Let's get rid of that. Okay. All right, so then let's shape this. Let's try again. Um, there's a lot of zing behind 
these chords. When you bring up the CC1, so, um, and it, maybe it's just a buildup of sound. So, for instance, if we look at this uh, EQ here, the graph. It sounds great. Um, there's something about the zinginess of it. Maybe, maybe it's uh, clipping too. Maybe because I had this up, um, that probably will fix a lot of the issues that I'm hearing. Um, another thing we could do is just bring everything else down, and uh, I'll also bring this down. But bring everything else down. So let's see. We go uh, Control A. Let's get rid of this, and then, ooh, not control A. Let's just do this. All right, and then let's go here. All of these should have CC7 data. I'm just going to look ahead real quick. Yep, so let's just bring the CC7 data down on all of this. All right, and everything should be quieter now. This one, maybe not so much. I'm just going to repeat that again. I really like that, this moment that we're creating. Well, we'll add like a crash or some kind of zoom uh, here to, uh, to really accent that piece. Um, the second half, though, when we do this, maybe this is where we can add something else like... Uh, some arpeggio or even like just a different um, patch maybe some from another library I don't know but something would be nice there maybe some woodwinds we'll figure it out um, excuse me what I'll do here is just finish up what I was doing so we have Let's see if I can do another um, shot. Let's see. Here. Okay, let's try again. And then so I also talked about maybe bringing down the octave. So let's say octave below, or I should say low, like this. What I'll do is I'm going to copy this all over. So we have these guys. They're actually, they should be identically the same. So then if we were to do this, we can now 
prune all the low notes. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Interesting. Yeah. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. But if there's three notes here, we should be okay to uh, delete. So this is a uh, the low end. Oh, I, sh I should switch that actually. So this goes here and then here do the opposite. So highlight all these guys, D uh, highlight this, highlight this. Okay. And then I can have a little bit more control on the lower half. So let's hear how that sounds. Let's bring up the volume. Okay, too much. Okay, so this is where it'd be fun to shape this area as, a little, as well. Let's zoom in a bit. Okay, we'll experiment with this. So maybe on the second half, um, do that. So not so much of a swell down. Maybe a little breath there. That's the idea. Um, I don't know if I should make it more drastic than that. I'm gonna try one more pass. If not, I'll undo that. Let's try again. They sound pretty good. I would say because of all that's happening there, though, it's like all of this is just getting drowned out. Uh, I don't even hear anything there, interestingly enough. That's because this wasn't doing anything. Cool. Yeah, that makes this a little bit... Um, harder to, to manipulate with. Another way I can do this is bring this up, but bring this down in the gain. Or actually, because we have an insert, let's do this one instead. Okay, bring that down six. And then now we have some more room to f play with there. Cool. I'm just mixing this and making sure I'm not just going full blown uh, orchestra just because we want to hear the other stuff and just um, shape it a little more.
All right, last thing is, is shape this idea. So we have um, uh, maybe a really strong hit. And let's try again. Something like that. Let's try that. Let's take a look see here what what's happening so we have one two three one two three one two three one two three da, 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 da. okay so something is happening here where it just has a little more bass emphasis so what if I added that C on both sides of this C chord. Uh, is that going to double? Let's see here. We're not doubling that, which is good. Um, I can mute it for now because what's happening is there's a G here, and that G is. It should be doing the support right there, but it's hard to it's hard to say if I can hear the um, the support there. So let me bring that up. Okay, maybe here. Let's do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, that that gives it a little bit more of a growth um, swell sort of feel. I think we're ready to move on. So a after this little moment, um, I'll, I'll have to figure out what to end it with. But uh, while we ha while we're on this note or the section, let's just uh, exaggerate this idea a little bit. So we'll just add some some booms, some riser kind of sounds, sci-fi trailer type sounds. So let's see what I have in my template first off. Um, these are kind of more drum production um, pop stuff I got a little bit of what I'm looking for I'm not sure what these are let's let's take a look like that I'm gonna turn these guys on also I can do a search function. So if I do control F, once this is loaded, I can get that going. Let's see here. It's still loading. Hmm. This will take a bit. Let's see. We're doing good on the percentage. I think it just finished as, as I switched over there. Cool. All right, so let's see if any of these uh, have this boom sound we're looking for. These are more chase. See, that's, that's nice, something like that. That would work. Um, that's nice. That 
That's really similar to the other one, but I like that better. Okay, so let's just use this David and Goliath one and meet the rest or disable. Um, this this would be kind of cool, putting like some kind of time TikTok element to it. Give it a second for it to load. That's kind of cool. So if I were to find that, where would that be? S um, drum. Let's see. Be some kind of perk synth drum. Maybe it's that. Okay, so on here, I probably would want to add another type of verb similar to before. Something like that. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay, the only problem is I think this shares, this shares that. So... Hmm. That's kind of crappy. I I think I could just find a better boom sound to begin with, but it might be all uh routed through that same one. So hmm. Let's do that for now. But let's just keep going and finding some other sounds that would work. So these would be, I, I love the Damage 2 stuff, by the way. Um, highly recommend it. Let's also put some other whoosh sounds that we can find. And these are actually pretty fun, too. These are from Massive. So I'll do that. And then um, all of these were, were pretty cool. So let's add that in. What else? Low enders. Trailer made. Keep forest. Hits. Booms. Okay. So I think we have everything we need per se on that end. And that's going to take a few seconds for it to load, but... Let's see if I can have any of these earlier. Okay, so. Something like that, or something like that. <laughs> and then. So I'll, I'll keep playing around as this is loading, but from around here, let's add it's like a whoosh, our first whoosh. Let's try again. How, how many? Okay. So this has to be a little early. Okay, that was a little quiet. Okay. So there's our first whoosh sound, which that works pretty well. Um, let's bring the volume down slightly. Okay. So with the whoosh, let's add, let's time that with one of these hits. Oh yeah. Not sure if this is on. Let's turn that on. Okay. 
Okay, and I might, let's see. I, I switched out some folders around, so it might be not loading correctly. I just want to make sure. Um, how would I find it? It's a question. There's too many. Okay, let's go down until we see some open ones like this. Okay. We're almost there. So trailer made is on. Let's see if that's connected. Okay, great. Got some keep force stuff. Okay. That's where we have an issue. Um, so we'll point to folder and I'll have to fix this in the template as well, but just for now, let's find it. So this would be under keep forced. Okay. And then these should be all there. Okay, great. So we have this. These are nice. All right, I really like to keep forced stuff. Probably will go with something like this, but okay. <laughs> Let's see how it sounds. Okay. Okay. So let's. It's too loud, right? So we need to make sure it doesn't clip. Um, and then let's, uh, for, for this type of patch at least, I like to render in place. So let's do this and do a complete signal path mix down. Because this is being Ensemble Pro, um, you have to do it this way. Okay, and we're going to time the hit so it's just right at the start of the beat. Like so. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. Anyways, now we have uh, um, the actual printed version of that, which is great. Um, that, in addition with like a crash, would be cool. Or just like a whoosh sound that just swishes over. Let's try that one. Okay. I just gotta make that a little louder so you can hear it. <laughs> okay. So if we're to add that in, how would that sound? Let's see. And then I'm just going to use this audio track. So the start of that uh, transient. Let's see. Would be somewhere here. I'm, I'm actually scooching it forward a little bit. Oops. Right here. So there's like two sounds here I'm hearing. Okay, so if we were to just put those on uh, where the the ends of the the notes are, that should be good. So maybe do it every other like that. 
uh, probably there. Okay, so we have that. <laughs> Alright, so this needs to cut through a little more now. And I think we need to also change that, uh, those notes up. Re retain the chord progression, so it's uh, C and so on. But um, actually, let's do this while we're here. Let's go whoop, whoop. So the chord progression is C major, and then it goes to F minor. A minor and an F minor. Okay, let's also make sure that chord track doesn't coincide with all these weird extra things that we don't want. Um, there we go. Okay, so there, there's a chord progression. Dun 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 dun. And then um, I, it'd be nice to Let's see, let's if we can shape this a little better, so wow, that's really f oh, you know what? I think I have this wrong. I think it should be like that, no? Okay, so uh, it's twice as long, my bad. And then so that makes it a little easier to record. Okay, all right, so then we have uh, these chords here that I'll quantize in. Something like that. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Should be a, a, a flat. And then this needs to bring over. Okay, and something happened here. Like it's like all offset, like that, and like that. Um. Oops. What's the? I'm not sure what just happened. There you go. So here, I just want to change one thing. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe that's it. Okay. 
maybe bring the volume up. So originally we have this set to, what is that? 52. Okay, so then over here, let's go over to that spot, which is here. Um, let's print that in there, but let's do f 58. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now the question is, are we going to always add these whoosh sounds right before it? Um, that's sort of the idea. Um, it gets repetitive after a while, but we can just at least get it going. And then if we can have, a, if we have some other sounds we can do, we can add that in. <laughs> enough of that um i think it would be cool to add like a little bit of a rhythm there like um timpani something like that so let's go let's see what we have contact i guess that's percussion yeah okay so Timpani, and I think I'll just stick with my um, Cine Samples stuff. So Cine Samples has some really cool, uh, really cool percussion. Re um, it's been around for a long time, but still really nice to have in the template. Okay, so we have this. And besides this, like, swell, I mean, the swell is nice. I think we would need also, like, a pulse. So let's add one as a roll. Oops. And the other as just a hit. So um, the easiest way to do that would be copy. And let's just find a note. We will probably want to do, probably want to do um, A. Well, I'm not sure actually, because we're on an F minor chord. Maybe a C. So. Let's try that, and we'll do two measures worth. Cool, let's bring this up slightly. Okay, so that's happening there. And then, um, oh, but I need to change that. Well, let's see. No, that's okay. We'll, we'll do that there, and then here we'll go bum, 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 bum. All right, it's not in time because my click's not on, and I can't, I don't have a pulse or like a steady sense that I can feel. Sorry, wrong octave. I can go faster. Dun, 
da -da -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, okay. Let's do that feel. So then we have in triplets. Dun, da -da -da -dun. Let's do that here and then bring um, the, the latency throws me off a little bit. <laughs> And honestly, we could probably slow down tempo here uh, if we wanted to, just to really uh, bring out the grandioso of things. And that's pretty easy. If I were to do that, I'd just bring it down like four or six clicks. Let's say four clicks. Okay. <laughs> On this last part, dun da 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 dun. Dun da 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 dun dun da 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 Um, dun da 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 Maybe a roll. Dun da 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 Okay, so we have this. We'll keep this F there. Oh, uh, we should probably change it. Let's go to C. Bum ba 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 bum. Right there, C. And let's bring the C back over here, like that. But the C should be right on that B. So it's really short. We're just gonna do a time stretch. Oops. Like that. Sorry, wrong button. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Instead of that, let's uh, let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Like that. Dun, dun, dun. Bring out the accent. <laughs> So we have these like, poof. Um, I, we can add one more poof sound and uh, let's go ahead and see which tracks are disabled. So I'm going to show all tracks and then disable it. And I think um, we can just make a, a nice little easy ending for this, to be honest, and uh, call it good for today. So I actually wanted to go more, but... A lot of the time that we spent is just uh, getting this energy quality going, so that's that's okay, and I'm fine with that. Um, I do want to just m make one more rhythmic feel here, and that that's the tricky part is I'm not sure exactly the sound. It's something maybe with bass. Oh, that, actually, we don't want that one. That's rise, huh? Um, something with a pulse. It could be it could be um, snare drum. I'm thinking more bass drum oriented stuff. So let's see here. Um. Let's look at what we have for any of these LP3, which is uh, my little shorthand for triplets. And let's turn this all of these guys on. And we can maybe add a loop in on this one. So let's go ahead and hide disabled now. Okay, so give that a second.
Okay, so I, I'm just gonna um, mess around here. So it's just an idea I have. So I'm going to put that all through there. Okay, let's see what else we have. Let's look at hybrid. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, either of these would work, I think, but let's try it. That's cool. Oh, there's more. Um, it's, it's coming along. Let's do this. So, I feel like uh, we can probably just move all this 140. So maybe 140 should just be the final, the speed that we're looking for here, and then that way it doesn't mess up when damage comes in. Because for some reason with loops, it just doesn't work well with tempo changes. Um. Let's see. All right, now we just gotta find the right balance because um, it has to be right on the grid for one and then just the, the volume. That's a little too busy. Um, I, th I actually think uh, these are playing a lot of different sounds. So let's see here. Let's let's st stick with this octave. Cool. That actually works really well. If we can bring up the highs in that, that would be nice. So let's see. Okay, so I think it's f coming from here. Okay, so let's bring up maybe some highs. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, let's try something like this on top of that. Um, I'm uh, yeah, changing up the rhythm a little bit. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. 
Maybe on the last hit. Yeah, there's so many sounds. I could just get lost for days on this. But okay, so this this would be a nice little contrast to what's happening here. We have this boom. Um, let's see how it cuts out. Okay, there's something weird in the loop, I believe, right here. So, and I think what we could also do is do some kind of triplet thing with the timpani there. So we have bump, bump, bump. Okay, let's do this like build up. Okay, so we have a boom sound. That That's kind of nice. What about this one? That's around, that's very similar, huh? Yeah, these are all really cool sounds. Um, the only thing else I would do then is uh, end it with a crash, or excuse me, not end it with a crash. Let's put some crashes in between this, and then we'll end it with a nice little chord at the end, and we'll call it good. Okay, so let's add crashes. Um, I should have some crashes in my template. Boom. Let's add this in. All right, so the last but not least is crash and suspended symbols. So here, let's put this timpani down here. And I've been kind of using more of the cine sample stuff lately. So um, I will load a suspended symbol for that here. And let's do orchestral. Of course, I did it that way. Okay, there we go. And let's rename this sus symbol. Great. Cool. Let's get rid of this. So let's add that into the mix. Okay. Um, and I'm not sure where the crash will be, but. <laughs> that latency. There you go. So let's just add that there. Um, Let's do it there. Okay, crash is kind of loud. Let's bring that down slightly. Okay, cool. So then um, the only other thing is while this is going, or is it here? Let's do like a dun 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 fill. Uh, I keep saying I'm I'm gonna finish up, but I I know as I'm doing this, uh, 
there's just like one other thing I want to do, right? Um, okay, so this kick thing that I have is is cool, but it's just there's something about it that I think we could replace. We could maybe uh, not replace, but like just add to. So where is, so we have all of these guys. We can present, we could just do something like that. This is just the accent in, of the timpani. Um, of course, we bring it up and let's do this. Cool. And this kick could probably layered with uh, the front as well. So let's bring this over. It's cool. Let's bring that down just uh, ever so slightly. All right. So yeah, that that's the idea. Dun dun dun. Um, let's listen to this. My only concern is the the layering of these low end kicks really just uh, muffle up a bit. I think from what I've heard on my headphones, it sounds okay. They're probably like uh, canceling some of those low end noises uh, or just making it more muddy. But I think uh, overall that, that, that could work. I think I can just bring this up slightly. So I may have brought that down too much. Let's go 88. Okay, so then uh, we have all of this build up here. It's nice, and these nice sounds. Let's um let's do this. All right, let's see. Boop. Dun 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 dun. Let's just go like that. Um, like so. All right, so we have this dun 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 starting here. Dun 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 dun. dun. Let's just glue that all in. Okay, let's move this just one measure over. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Dun 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 dun. One more beat. Uh, one more beat. And I will be happy. <laughs> okay, so one more beat. 
Um, and it's probably not a beat. I'm talking um, in one more bar, probably. Uh, or two two beats. Okay. We just need a riser. Is it one more bar? It is one more bar, isn't it? Ah, dang. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's go one more bar. This part's actually pretty easy. Just have to know what you're looking for. <laughs> All right. All right, and then, uh, great. So we have that. Oh, yeah, yeah. These things are tricky because uh, I need to change them to like a eight, eight beats probably. So I'm going to do this instead. And... I'm going to find the same sound, but load it in as a instrument track instead of my VN Ensemble. Noise to sub. Probably one of these. If not, it's going to be in here somewhere. Noise to sub. This guitar squad's pretty cool too. I, I've worked with that one. Let's try this guitar squad for a second. Oh. Something like that. Or. Mm, guitar squad 2 seems to be the winner. Um. Although I would probably not do these. Is there a way to cancel these? I'm not sure. Let's do that. Actually, did I do eight beats? No. Eight beats. And then bring this up in volume. Um. Yeah, and what's tricky about this is uh, these hits kind of sound like machine guns after a while. So it's, I don't know if I have any other sounds that would supplement it. Something like that. Uh, same here. Maybe on the last one you can like do something like that. And, of course, a little crescendo maybe would be nice. Hmm. Cool. Let's bring some of this down. Crescendo that up. Okay. Um, there's also like a synth riser.
let's do um, let's do ATOs maybe shepherd tone oops uh, this this should be good okay and if we're on F let's try that F Try that. That uh, needs to be longer, huh? And let's move. That might not be the best sound, but that's the idea. So. That one right there. All right. Sorry. Those hits are loud, I know. Um, but that's the idea. So then uh, after you go boom, so let's just make sure that this cuts out. This has to all cut out. So, although actually, I don't know. Uh, it might not be the end of the world if it doesn't cut out. Okay. So um, the other trick here is do a compressor side chain it uh, let's do a heavy compression bring some of that in and then uh, make sure that this here or I should just do the synth synth loop no it's this one actually let's put this one side chain the synth riser and that should uh let's see if we're to listen to that with this maybe not um there's a lot of like reverb tail that's probably not picking it up as well but um let's try it. let's let's give another chance here so we have this and we have this maybe I just need to get the release down more uh, what am I doing wrong I think you, a better approach would be, be d using a gate of some kind, and uh, that would work as well. But uh, it's okay. I think this should work for now. And then what we'll do is we'll end it with a uh, little chord. Okay, so we just need to bring this up. Uh, post fade. Okay, let's add a little chord. Call it good for today. So um, let's just copy that over here. And that probably can go in and around here, actually. OK. 
Okay. Great. Um, I think that's it for today. I'm just going to get rid of some of these. Another um, sound I just realized that I can do is maybe add this whoosh at the end. Oops, right here. <laughs> cool. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and press play. I'm going to um, delete a few of these things. I normally like to go into the like MIDI notes and whatnot, but um, for this video playback, I'm just going to just show you like what's being shown on the screen. And let me just prepare this so we can see everything. All right. So that's Metropolis Arc Zero. Um, a lot of the sounds that you're hearing is from there. And then I've added some hybrid elements and uh, other uh, sounds from Zebra as well. So, um, and, and you can see other instruments. But I'm going to go ahead and press play. And this um, is some kind of sci fi. Uh, mystery Q. So I don't uh, th this this could be used as some kind of trailer feel, but um, with that being said, I had so much fun playing around with Met Metropolis Arc Zero, and I hope you guys uh, uh, who are watching enjoyed what you're seeing. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, thanks for your support, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. There you go. All right, my name is Joshua Sohn. I will see you guys next time on our uh, next live stream, which will probably be next week. So stay tuned. I'll see you.